In eight Iowa counties are helping spread awareness about domestic violence issues, as well as the resources available to the people who may need it the most. KCRG T9's Molly Swain joins us now live in the studio with that story. The Director of Community Engagement for the Domestic Violent Intervention Program, or DVIP, says partnering with libraries is an easy way to reach a wide pool of people. The library is where people go to find answers. And so that's where Domestic Violence Intervention Program has gone to share them. Public awareness is absolutely paramount to prevention education. During Domestic Violence Awareness Month, the nonprofit partners with libraries throughout its service area to offer resources that teach people about domestic violence including what it looks like. Intimate partner violence can be manipulation, uh, coercive control, and economic. So restricting how dollars are spent. If you can have access to medication, if you have access to transportation. The resources aren't just reference guides or workbooks. They're stories, even young adult novels, that people of all ages could relate to their own lives. And this was very um, reassuring to me that we're not just trying to um, and domestic violence, but also trying to prevent it, you know, by telling the younger generations maybe what to look out for. Heidi Kukta with the Iowa City Library said there's been a lot of engagement with the collection. It has been a very popular display. We've had to refill it a few different times. That engagement comes as there is more of a need for people to understand what to look for. We have seen an increase of lethality over the last seven years by upwards of 30 to 35 percent of the victim survivors that we serve here in our service region. So we're not we're not talking nationally. We're not talking, you know, internationally. We're talking right here in southeastern Iowa. That has increased. Ultima Dia with DVIP says an increase in lethality means the risk of facing a life-threatening situation is much higher than it is on average. Those are the facts, but the stories here are helping people recognize what the statistics might look like when they play out in real life. When we know what the red flags of abuse are, what a healthy relationship looks like, and how to support our friends and family, the better we all are. Medea with DVIP said this year the nonprofit just started to track the kind of weapon being used in violent incidents, rather than just if there was a weapon or not. In the studio, Molly Swain, KCRG, TV9 News. All right, thank you, Molly.